Hey my lovely ones, I hope that you're all safe and well. It's Mitch here, I'm just coming on to do this week's a Monday guidance reading. We find ourselves in another bank holiday, can you believe it? Cool, there's so many isn't there at the moment. Um, just want to say a huge massive thank you to everybody that came along to support me at the demo in Chippenham on Saturday night at Yatan Yatan, sorry, Yatan Kennel Village Hall. It was a really, really fun evening. Um, it was a little bit of hard work in parts, I'm not going to lie, but it was um, a really fun night. So thank you very much for the love and the support and the magic if you came along to that. I've had some absolutely lovely messages of thanks for those people that had readings with me. Just want to say as well, touching on demos in general, had a couple of people say that they felt that the way a loved one came through was different for them than others. Like we're all different personalities in sort of the physical world, we're all different personalities in spirit. So some spirits do come in a lot more chatty, some spirits do come in and they're able to give a lot more evidential evidence. And for other spirits, it's more of um, an acknowledgement or a vibration of their presence that they're there. And they may sort of give events on sort of things coming in for the future. It can just vary, you know, it's so different. Some sort of um, loved ones give memory links. Some loved ones give pieces of what's going on immediately around a person. And because we're guided by obviously what spirit bring forward, it is like we're going in blind. We can never know what's going to happen. Um, so, you know, just don't sort of um, rob yourself of a message because I did have like, you know, um, one person sort of say to me, oh, they felt like, you know, other spirits were linking in a bit more evidentially than, than what they got. But unfortunately, it's always out of a medium's control. And, you know, that's the frustrating part of mediumship. And also, it's not just how well the spirit can link in. It's also how open a receiver is to information as well, you know. Um, so there's lots of factors to it. But um, I just think that's important to sort of talk about very briefly because, you know, don't sort of rob yourself of a message. If you've got something, if something came in, even if it wasn't quite to a person's liking, be blessed that that connection was made, that that was reached. Because some people wait years and a lifetime to get that, you know. So I suppose the key thing here is don't sort of restrict yourself um, if, if you can, you know. But anyway, that's all I wanted to say. A medium's work is a thankless task at times. It's, it is hard because we all want those little pieces and those real deep sort of insights of information. And if it comes, it comes. But if it doesn't, unfortunately, it's the hard part of being a medium. You can't force what isn't there and I will never tell people what I don't sort of sense or feel firsthand because I don't believe in sort of giving false information and if that means that a person gets less of a reading I have to keep it real you know that's just how it is really but anyway let's not dwell on that too much but um so Monday what I thought I would sort of work with is t as we've had all of this stuff with the royals which I don't get too involved in personally um, and that's no disrespect to anybody that does but for me I just take a step back but we're going into I thought we would sort of work with tarot of the old path because I thought that was quite fitting with obviously all these old traditions that are sort of being celebrated and are being um, acknowledged at the moment with obviously what's going on with um, with the king so just a little bit of a fun deck this one so these are the cards Let's see what we need to know about for this Monday and the coming week ahead. Just want to say, guys, as well, a little bit of a cheeky shout out that this coming Saturday, the tour bus is sort of continuing to rock and roll. And we are going to be over in Henstridge. Um, I know that I'm over halfway sold out on tickets now. I think I've got about 30 tickets left if you want to come along to a night of mediumship in Henstridge, which is in Somerset. Lovely village hall um get on the website get booking that's happening saturday the 13th so it'd be great to see some of you lovelies there if you're stuck for something to do so let's get back to monday and let's channel these cards for the coming week ahead oops what do we need to know about what do we need to be aware of let's just see Also, guys, keep a cheeky shout out. Keep a cheeky shout out. No, don't keep a cheeky shout out. <laughs> Bank holiday, isn't it? Like, I'm getting so tongue-tied. Keep an eye out for a possible charity event coming very soon. I've been asked to do 
um, a charity event which will be happening at the end of the month and it's going to be happening fingers crossed it's to be confirmed but it's probably going to be happening in um bath mill lodge where i've done some previous demos before so i'll be teaming up with a couple of other uh, mediums to bring a night of mediumship for um a, a very important charity for a young child that's got quite a few um, brain tumours that needs life-saving surgery. So we're putting something together a little bit quick for, for him. He's called CJ. So you'll see a poster going up in the coming days for that. And if you're free, it will be a weekday, probably going to be Wednesday the 24th, but it's all to be confirmed. But um, just giving you advance notice that, you know, that's going to be going live very soon. And it'd be great if some of you guys can come and support that. All the money for that night will be going direct to the charity. But more details of that to come very soon. Right, let's see. What do we need to know about? Let's get back to this. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, no, because one will just pop itself at me. Oh, there we go. Interesting. Oh, this is an interesting card. We're going into the five of cauldrons this is also known as five of cups in the more conventional tarot but in this deck they're using it as the cauldrons so it's really really important with the five of cauldrons not to look at the things that have spilt not to look at the things that you don't have or that you feel are sort of not working for you so it's almost like we've got these cauldrons that are spilling over but we've got these others that are standing and this is a really important time to remember your blessings remember the gratitude of life really and what's going on what's good in your world you know don't get caught up in all of the things that didn't quite work out or haven't quite gone to plan or a little bit like with the message I talked about earlier you know where somebody felt a little bit like they didn't get quite as much evidence as, as some other messages but you still had a powerful message you know and it's almost like look at it for what it is try not to sort of devalue aspects of your life because maybe they're not in sync exactly with what you want you know because life isn't perfect that's the thing I think there's this real misconception that life is perfect or that we should have the best of everything at every point in time and life is a very broken world we live in a very broken world but if you can be humbled if you can celebrate the blessings the things that you do have accessibility to and the things that are working to your favour yes we're all a work in progress you know but if you can celebrate how your life is it's taking those positive things and moving forward and I think sometimes we all drop the ball on ourselves from time to time so I suppose the message this week with the sort of um five of cauldrons coming in don't overlook don't devalue the riches that are around you and that's not just physical um sort of materialistic wealth it's the riches of heart center it's the riches of experiences because we're all very rich people but we don't always feel like that and very often we we take things for granted we just devalue ourselves you know and we put this pressure that we deserve and we should be having more and it's great to have goals and you know dreams and ideas about stuff but i think there is a need to stay grounded to stay balanced and be aware of what we do have accessibility to as well so don't rob yourself of your own happiness this week where you're on a sort of journey of a little bit of um you know self punishment or all this um sort of heightened pressure that maybe some of you are putting upon yourself and i'm finding this a lot in readings that people are so pressured in where they're wanting to go what they're wanting to achieve how they're wanting to get there that they're not recognizing the success that they've created and i do think it's important to look at what already exists and what already is happening in your life you know so an interesting one this week so going to leave that with you. I do hope it resonates and makes a little bit of sense for some of you lovelies. See beyond the sort of uh, restrictions or the problems. Take the cups that stand. Take the cups that add purpose and value. Be blessed. Be happy. You know, but know your worth. Know your riches. See your riches in this immediate space, even if you're still a work in progress, because aren't we always a work in progress? You know, so that's my message for you this week. So have a goodie. Look after yourself. I look forward to connecting with some of you lovelies this week on Zoom and Facebook video chat. And I will see some of you lovelies on Saturday at the demo in Henstridge, which I'm really, really excited, really looking forward to. I did the demo there last year and it was a huge success. It was a beautiful night. So I'm hoping that um, Spirit are going to allow it to be another great evening. So look after yourselves. Have a cool week ahead. 
love and blessings. Bye for now.